Hello there, my name is Paul Tranny, evangelist for Adobe, and I want to show you the ins and outs of creating NFTs, an overview of that whole process. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. It's all about NFTs and digital art. So let's dive in. First off, yeah, we're all making digital art, posting it to Instagram, uh, whatever, right? We're doing that for free. Hey, we could take this digital art, upload it to a marketplace as an NFT and sell it. It's a, a little bit more complex than that, right? Because guess what? It's going to take uh, a cryptocurrency wallet, right? Uh, you're going to put money in that wallet in the form of Ethereum because you're going to have to pay a gas fee or a minting fee to turn that uh, digital art into something on the blockchain um, that for a certain price, basically, at in a marketplace. Like super rare. There's a ton of marketplaces out there where you could set the price, create an auction, sell, you know, 10 of 10, whatever the case may be. Super rare foundation, all of these. I'm going to post this slide deck in the description below so you will have that for your perusal. Also, there's going to be an hour-long... Um, uh, video, a live stream of me actually creating an NFT as well. But this is your overview and we're going to go ahead and get started right now in Photoshop. Here's again, just some digital art made up of all these little components, as you can tell, you know, good hundred plus layers. You could see them. But I took this a step further. I decided to bring it into After Effects and make it an animation, as you can see right here. Uh, lots is going on in here, just so you uh, can see, right? But from there, I exported out that video. And we can see it, sure enough, right on my desktop, like so. Uh, the MP4 and then the JPEG, okay? So these are the two I have. I'm thinking, okay, I want to sell them on a marketplace. So that's what I would do. So from here, I'd actually go out to a marketplace. I can go sell this on OpenSea, uh, Foundation, Maker's Place, um, Super Rare in this case, upload it to one of those marketplaces. It's gonna cost money, right? And some, there's a hardcore vetting process. Uh, but regardless of the platform you're using, you do have to begin with a wallet. So you need a digital wallet to pay for the gas fees. Um, so you can select a wallet right in here. It already gives me three. MetaMask, Formatic, Wallet Connect. There is more. Uh, I use MetaMask, but essentially what MetaMask is, it's a crypto wallet uh, for blockchain apps for marketplaces, right? This is where your Ethereum is going to be stored, which is typically the cryptocurrency uh, in your wallet. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to click download, right? You'll download it. And guess what? It's going to be a little plug-in in your uh, web browser, in your Chrome browser, right here, Paul's Wallet. In fact, let's take a look at, uh, let's expand this view. And you can see right in here, um, I have Ethereum. I can import more tokens, so more cryptocurrency into this wallet if I have them other places. But basically, Ethereum is going to be the default. Yours is going to say zero here. So what you need to do is you just want to buy some Ethereum, right? Here's three different ways as of today. Um, I used Wire, which lets you connect a de debit card and deposit Ethereum that way. So this is, again, a third party where I could jump in and say, hey, you know what, let's take Take five hundred dollars because it's going to be anywhere from one to three hundred dollars to mint a piece, depending on the market and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and um, you know throw five hundred dollars into into Ethereum to pay for my various fees. So that five hundred dollars becomes one point one six Ethereum basically that will then exist in your wallet, right? So that's how that will work. So now knowing that we can go back to Super Rare, we can click MetaMask. You're gonna get a password and a seed phrase. Don't ever lose those. Don't give them to anybody. Just be, write them down. That's like actually having the money. So that becomes very important. Um, and we could talk more about that. But essentially, you're going to go ahead and sign in uh, right in here. It's going to typically ask you for your password, maybe your seed phrase. But at this point, I'm now logged in. We can see right in here, super rare, I have uh, sort of my uh, dashboard, but more importantly, creations. We can take a look at my creations right in here. I want to go through the process, of course, this one that I just upload to uploaded today, but that's what you'll do is you'll mint a piece. So right over here, we will click, sure enough, mint. There it is. Uh, basically, could say create NFT, right? So from there, 
We can create an NFT. We could even do a custom series, just so you know. So these are your crypto punks, your um, uh, board apes, for instance. But we're gonna just do a super rare NFT, sort of a, a one-off, if you will. From there, you're gonna upload your artwork. And it says right here the different file formats, right? JPEG image file formats right, to video formats, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab this MP4, just like it says, this MP4, as you can see, we'll go ahead and add that like so. We'll take a thumbnail, really is just a snapshot of uh, that piece and upload that as well. And then it's just filling in the blank. Call it something unique, give it a description. I'm just gonna copy and paste like so, give it some tags, you know, animation, beautiful. Uh, nature, things people will search on in super rare. So there it is, you can see it playing through. Uh, view as a cropped square, because that's how most pieces are going to appear, just so you know. Uh, we can add additional tributes if we want to, but I'm just gonna click next, and right, right in here it says, hey, you know what? You gotta say, hey, you know what? I understand the terms and conditions. This artwork's original, I don't have it on any other marketplace. And, uh, you know, this is sort of one of a kind. And it's going to cost me money. So I actually haven't confirmed the transaction yet. And that's why I'm opening up uh, my wallet. So it's asking me to confirm my transaction. And then here it is. So at this point, here's your gas fee. So this is what it costs to mint it on uh, on Super Rare. And that's just your gas fee. I mean, it could be the same for a lot of the other platforms. The gas fee is the gas fee, right? It's going to cost me $85. I'm not going to confirm this because I've already uploaded it, right? Uh, so I'm just going to kind of pop out of there. Maybe I can even click reject, right? Because I already have this uploaded, right? So I'm not going to do that again. It cost me $85. And in fact, we can take a look right up here. You're able to see all the transactions. So um, today, um, I basically added a token, which is minting it, set approval, and then um, there was some more contract interaction right here. This fee, this $50, was for setting up the um, the auction, or the actually the reserve price, which is one of the many things you can do. You can set up an auction or a reserve price. So it cost me about uh, 170 or so to... Um, be able to mint this as part of the blockchain and to start this reserve price as you can see right here. So I put it at a reserve of 0 0.7 Ethereum. So now somebody can go out and buy that today for that price. We could take a look at it all the data like so. But that's sort of the fundamentals of creating an NFT, getting set up with your cryptocurrency wallet and getting on a marketplace. Uh, more details below, feel free to watch the video below where I go through this hour long process of creating an NFT as well as the slides are below as well. And of course, follow me, continue the conversation on social media and thank you so much for watching.